Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Tokyo Ghoul Re-Invoke. Now, in today's episode, what I wanted to go ahead and do is cover a little bit more on the game. So we actually have some very, very, very interesting stuff over here. As well as, we actually have some very interesting confirmations as well. Because here, we got a free unit in the Kakuja Uta for the first time. Now, we've never had levels that were, first of all, boss levels that would also draw playable characters, and we've never had characters that were brand new models, super fancy, and very, very, I would say, very, very cool uh, as a free unit before. But here we have the Kakuja Uta, of which dropped during the war, came out, he has the highest attack stat in the entire game, and he arguably is one of the coolest models that I have seen so far, and I'm super hyped about it. So today we're gonna go ahead and cover it. Um, the challenge is, I wanted to go ahead and wait until tomorrow, because I've kind of, while I've been busy, I've also not really had the challenges in mind, because I've been doing a lot of other stuff. But I wanted to get stuff ready, I sent a message to Discord earlier today, kind of get some stuff planned for what to do for the challenges starting tomorrow. Uh, but for right now, I just want to cover him, I wanted to try and do his level. I actually have a version of him at 10 out of 10 already as well, so it should be quite fun. And honestly, he looks super, super cool. Um, he reminds me of Hypers, you know, you know, the, the one Twitch emote. He's just, uh, he, he's, he's a good dude. And here we have a red SSR Kakuja Uta, of which has one, or 13,191 HP, 2,185 attack, 31 defense, 6 AP and 12 durability, nick ability of two times break bonus, uh, to the entire squad, all allies. So he, for, he's like... He has similar abilities to like how Juzo works, for example. Break the enemy, entire squad gets the buff. Uh, his first skill is plus 500 attack, making him the highest attack character in the entire game at 2,685 in total. Crazy stuff. Plus 200 defense, which puts him up to 231 in total. Very glass cannony. Uh, SSS minus killer 1.8 times to all greens and two times killer to anyone who's paralyzed of which is harder to use because he hasn't actually paralyzed on his own skill because at five out of five I actually have the translation here on my phone at five out of five his i've always wanted to eat you is 2.5 times your own attack for two turns deals attack times 1.7 times damage to one enemy reduces durability of one enemy by three so not much durability damage honestly and he is a self buffer but even so he's going to be an incredible unit and he's going to be super fun to use um, you're going to want to run him alongside anyone who has, like, a Paralysis Synergy, for example, though. So typically, like, Narukami, um, if you have the Festival Hinami, if you have, like, I don't know, what other, what other, what other units paralyze? Half Kojimori, Etso Premium, maybe, anything like that. But if we go ahead and go into the 3D model thing here, you'll be able to see, he is so cool. He has no reaction, so he doesn't really have, like, a quote or anything like that. But, like, his actual model looks super cool. I imagine this probably means he's probably playable inside the next version of uh, Call to Exist. Because, like, this model is so detailed and so well made, it has to be a boss fight. The tattoos are so, like, in-depth and well done. The nails look cool and, like, he has the Davy Jones head. Big fan. Big, big fan. Now, unfortunately, I grind up his level for, like, I want to say an hour straight last night. Just constantly trying to run it to get like drops of him and I got no copies of his actual character. I got the version off of grinding level so I currently have him, he's at 10 out of 10, uh, but he's at 0%. So I want to try and get some drops later on today. I only got it for half an hour right now though, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be what it is and that's just how it goes. Uh, but for now, what I do want to do, I want to go ahead and go, he nope, not this one. Is it four? Yeah, okay, it's four. We want to go into here. I just want to do his level like once or twice. I'm honestly... So, Uta is a self-buffer to the point where he's not really going to do too well if I run Anniversary of Rima alongside him. He also, his attack is at 3-2-3-1 because of being an elite character inside this actual, like, war. Jeez, he's going to be crazy. What I might try and do here, I'm honestly... So, I end up pulling a version of... Here, let me find him here. Arima Narukami off of the new special summon tickets we get each day. I would love to actually use him here 
to get the paralysis energy alongside Uta. So you know what? This is our plan for today. Let's go into it. Uh, we have no attack buffers, but Uta's a self buffer. Paralysis is going to help out quite a bit. We have the defense debuffer inside our uh, our buddy old pal Takizawa. It should be good. Um, this should be hype. This should be super fun. But yeah, I was actually super happy I got Arima Narukami. He's one of those characters I've always wanted to use and never really had the chance to. Also, uh, half Kakuja Takizawa is also boosted during this war, so he has 23 AP in total. It's kind of crazy. Not gonna lie. It's it's kind of legitimately incredible. Uh, but here, we're gonna try to get some charge on our buddy old pal here. Use all the AP we have available for everybody. And have a good time. Uh, our main goal is gonna be to charge our buddy old pal by the name of Uta, so... Here, I'm gonna get his break bonus here. Oh wait! That's the quote! Hell yeah! Um, I just noticed. He's at 0%, so he actually doesn't do his durability damage just yet. So he actually isn't going to be that great for trying to break here. I honestly kind of want to use a double swap here in that case. Uh, I might just finish off this wave. Just to get it out of the way. Because, like, I don't have a reason to use my skills here. What I'll do is I'll pop the skill of Takizawa, use Juzo's skill, all my AP, and then swap over. So do this. Honestly, with this squad, it's kind of crazy to actually try and take these things down, because it just kind of crushes it. Like, Juzo should break here, I believe. He does a lot of durability damage, I believe. Oh no, he almost did. Okay, that real. In that case, let's go ahead and get that break bonus. Swap in uh, Kakuja Uta. And use all our AP we have available right now. I'm actually going to awaken Arima Narukami to be able to get his paralysis ready for next turn. We don't need to break, so like, this is fine. We don't really need a breaker, because we have Juzo in the back anyway. Pop that off, and we are good to go. Man, I want to hear the quote again from Uta. I love the portrait a lot. There's there's two different versions of the Uta portrait, actually, inside this game. So there's the one that's inside the playable version, and there's a second one where he like puts his finger near his mouth, uh, and it's only inside the non-playable version so far. So we'll actually... here. So we'll use this. I also think that this one's like the weirder one of the two. But we're going to try to get this off. Uh, we're going to debuff him. We're probably going to swap to Juzo, break him, and then end up waiting the turn. Because I'm kind of feeling like... I want to see the other animation for him. So we're going to swap in Juzo. Go all out. Do one big slap. Slap him on the butt real quick. Just one big spank goes in. All right. I'm going to go ahead and charge uh, Orimana Rukami and use his skill here. One slap shouldn't kill. But it does inflict paralysis, which halves his AP, which is kind of nice, at least. So let's watch the skill animation here. So there's this one where he goes like that. And there's also... Oh my god! He laughs so loudly! Ah! <laughs> I love it. Oh, reinvoke, honestly. Like, on top of being one of the best free-to-play friendly gotchas that has been out here, I would say the new character models they make are honestly some of the most interesting. And inside this right now, like I could not be more excited for the fact that this is a free unit. The fact that they're just doing this at the end of the game for like, it's not for profit, it's not for like trying to make people spend money or like pull on a gotcha. This is just them giving out a free unit with the highest attack in the game so far, just for the sake of being like, thank you for playing. And it makes me very, very happy. When I max him out fully, he's going to be crazy, by the way. I'm super hyped about it. I'm actually thinking about swapping in... I'm going to swap in Juzo, just to finish this off. Because that's fine, absolutely. Um, I just need to make sure I beat this level this time around, so that's absolutely fine. I don't. I think that if you get a drop of Uta, it would be off of the wave that you fight him. So right there, I don't think I got a drop of him, unfortunately. But here, we're going to try and use Juzo. Um, our main goal is going to be to get a break bonus with Juzo. So let's see if we can get that done for now. Uh, 
I can't paralyze him before he's broken, so I'm actually going to wait on the skill for my Arima here. So we're going to pop this. Honestly, this is also... So it's a four-prong boss fight, right? This is also what I was asking for this whole time for content on the game. This is like a boss rush that gives you a playable character. It's super interesting. Harder levels that you need to actually plan around beating. Um, and just generally, like... It is harder content as well. If they would have made a version of this where they also had it where, like... All the quests were just harder versions of everything. So like an S version of the boss rush here. Where you can only do durability damage when you're using the right typing. That would be super, super fun. And I would love that. I would honestly say that that would be what I was looking for. Um, Reinvoke never really got there, unfortunately. And I am kind of sad about it. But either way, I will take it. I don't think that I could have gotten the end portrait with uh, Uda there. Because like... You have to get the last hit, and I don't really have the damage on my skill just yet for that. That was good stuff. That was a that was a GG right there. He's honestly so cool. I'm looking forward to actually using him in the future. And like the drops here, you can see you get four different tickets. Uh, on a five times run, you'll get all those tickets. Uh, eventually, you'll get a copy of for, of Uda as well. And just generally, that's some of the best grinding you can do in the game right now. Right now, I am currently. So I've been struggling to actually grind up tickets recently because I've been too lazy. Um, so I still need to get the uh, bleed synergy here for Tatara. So I'll probably be grinding the season quite a bit to get that done and try and get these tickets done as well. Because like, I'll take it, man. It's, it's, it's great stuff. And also, I'm hoping we end up getting another unit soon. Um, I imagine with this Uda dropping, so inside Tokyo Ghoul Re or Call to Exist, we already have confirmations that there's models for Endgame Furuta and Endgame Kaneki available. For this actual uh, series, we have this war that goes into like the tail end of October. Then we'll get another war in November that should go until the end of the game. I imagine three weeks long and just like going through that. I feel like they're probably going to end up making Dragon Kaneki a free unit. And if that's the case... Shout out to fucking Tokyo Ghoul Reinvoke. Because, like, they didn't need to do this, and I'm super happy they are. Uh, additionally, during this actual season as well, they're giving out a bunch of these free units here. So we have a new uh, Halloween art with the Corona and Nashiro here, of which the full art is beautiful. Um, I love it a lot. They actually did a great job with it. And there's also a Toka and Hinami we're getting as well. And they're just kind of giving these out for free, despite the fact that, like... I don't know, it's like, so Hakka's no longer being sold, so we're just kind of like, so we made this art, we love it a lot, hopefully you guys like it too, here you go, and Reinvoke has some of the best out there, we still got the, uh, this bunny girl Rize we got for free and got 100% as well for free, because they're just kind of giving it out for free no matter what, shout out to Reinvoke for right now, I know we're shutting down and everything, but they're doing a good job of kind of, putting this wrap up on things and having a lot of fun with like just releasing stuff here up from here on out. But I'm going to be here until the end. Absolutely guaranteed trying to have fun with the game. We're doing the challenges. We're just having a good time with everything. And it should be a hell of a time for right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy and let me know if you maxed out your Kakuja Uta just yet, because God knows I'm going to try to get mine done as soon as possible. See you guys later.